Bienvenidos a Santos Comics of Rock, programa donde la nave de la imaginación nos trajo a la Conque 2018. Y en ese momento estamos platicando con Bob Camp, que fue productor de la serie Randy Stimpy y sigue haciendo ilustración y haciendo animación. Thank you so much for being here. Be here. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great because I am here with one of... Uh, I am here with a person who has illustrated our laughs and our mirth and our naughty thoughts and whatnot. Uh, how did you got into producing Ren and Snippy? It, well, it's funny because uh, 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 my uh, associate John Kay and I started a studio called Spumco. And uh, he pitched a show idea to Nickelodeon, which was a completely different idea. And Ren and Snippy were just a dog and a cat in the cartoon, a minor character. And they said, minor characters, and they said, well, we, we like the dog and the cat, make a cartoon about them. So that's what we did. We did a pilot uh, and we really didn't have a concept for the cartoon at all. All we had was two characters and their relationship, you know, the way they acted. And uh, we did the first uh, pilot and it ran in a uh, film festival called Spike and Mike's Twisted Animation Festival, and it uh, got uh, good uh, reviews, and so Nickelodeon said, let's make a series, and then we made the series, yeah. What does a producer do uh, on animation? Uh, a producer, it's funny, we made a cartoon about that called uh, Stippy's Cartoon Show, so if you get a chance to see it, that's sort of a funny version of what a producer does. But basically, a producer does the, the business. They, they make the schedule for the cartoon. They work out the budget. They hire the people to work on the cartoon. They make sure that everything is organized. And, and uh, that, that's pretty much it. It's not, not a creative job. It's more of a, a management job. So you were, you were producing or directing? You were directing, right? I did, a, I did everything. I, I, uh, I wrote the stories. I didn't do everything, but I worked on every part of the show. I, I wrote a lot of the stories. I storyboarded many of them. I did layouts. I uh, directed. I directed the voices. I did voices on the show. I painted backgrounds. Uh, I did a lot of everything on, on the series, yeah. And I, I was also a producer and a director, yeah. But uh, that is not what... Uh well, animation is, I mean, um, animation is very much an uh, online, uh, an online pr uh, product, right? It's very different now. When we started Ren and Stimpy, uh, there were only a few channels, uh, and they showed cartoons on Saturday mornings, you know? So uh, cartoons were always made the same way, traditional animation, uh, and the, the animation was photographed on film, you know? And then while we were making Rin and Snippy, uh, there was a, a switch to digital. And uh, we digital sound, uh, uh, no more uh, hand ink and paint. Everything was done digitally. And uh, a lot of the work was being done uh, in other countries, in uh, Korea, Japan, uh, Australia, Canada. Uh, so th now when you make a cartoon, there's... A thousand different ways to make a cartoon. You, there's, there's, uh, uh, you can do, use flash. You can use traditional animation. Uh, there's another program called Harmony, which Disney uses. Uh, there's, there's so many different ways to make cartoons now, and uh, lots of the parts of production are done all over the world. So it's, it's very different now than when we made Ren and Stimpy. It's different and it's easier for a creator to animate the stuff. Uh, how do you like it better? You know, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's easier now uh, for someone to make a cartoon because everyone has a computer. You can buy the software yourself. You can make a cartoon at home with your friends. Uh, and you don't need uh, expensive photographic equipment like you used to have. And you don't have to have people painting the animation cells. You can use Photoshop to do the color, you know. So uh, it, it's much simpler and cheaper to make a cartoon uh, as an individual now than it used to be. Uh, and uh, 
if, if I was making a new cartoon now, I would have to decide which is the easiest, uh, most cost effective way to make the cartoon. Uh, so, you know, it depends on the network. Uh, and a lot of cartoons are being made for, um, for mobile devices, telephones and things like that. So that's a, it's a different process. So, like I said, there's a thousand different ways to make it now. And there's many different uh, ways to view it. You can watch it on the phone. You can watch it on your TV. Uh, you know, so it's all, it, the game changes, you know. How do you like it better? Uh, because things, uh, uh, people uh, see it and think, oh, the good old days were better and whatnot. Uh, but uh, now you are on a different universe, yeah. not only a different century. Yeah, uh, I like it. I, I think that uh, now uh, yeah, anyone can make a cartoon any way they want. Uh, when, I, when I started in the animation business, uh, you had to make uh, uh, toy companies happy. You had to make the executives at the network happy. You had to make the advertisers happy. So... Uh, uh, making a cartoon like Ren and Snippy is very unusual. It's very, very unique because we were able to do uh, very extreme humor, you know. And uh, but most cartoons made uh, in the past, you had to satisfy a lot of executives, people in suits and ties, you know. So you didn't have the freedom to be as crazy as you wanted to. But now, because of software that anyone can buy and everyone has their own computers to produce cartoons and you can distribute them on on YouTube you know yourself you have a YouTube channel you you don't need the networks you don't need Cartoon Network you don't need Nickelodeon uh, you, you can have your own channel and produce your own cartoons and and I think that's great because you get a lot more variety you get a lot more uh, types of cartoons and in the 80s when I first started working on cartoons like Thundercats uh, if you didn't have a toy company involved and putting money into the production, you didn't have a show, you know. So it was more about selling toys than about doing unusual, funny humor, you know. And are you still doing animation? Yeah, I, I, I'm not doing animation, but I'm, I'm doing character designs on SpongeBob. That's what I've been working on recently. Uh, uh, last year I was working on a show called Mighty Magiswords, a new show. Uh, before that, I was doing character, I mean, uh, storyboards on SpongeBob. I worked on the SpongeBob movie before that, and I worked on the Peanuts movie before that, uh, and I worked on lots and lots of movies and TV shows through the years since Ren and Stimpy. And now you are here in Mexico, in Conque, and that's great. And it's great that you've been on Holly Comics and Santos Comics. Yes. Sigan con nosotros en Santos Comics. Okay. I want to say that uh, uh, this is our second Comic Con in Mexico. We went to La Mole uh, in March, and uh, we're here. And I want to say that uh, what we learned is that the, the Mexican people are beautiful and lovely and kind and funny and wonderful. And we fell in love with the country, and we fell in love with the people. And we love you beforehand. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sigan con nosotros. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> Sigan con nosotros en Santos Comics, donde somos feliz, feliz, alegría, alegría. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs>